and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem. Ay ang magiliw peras ng silanganan Alap ng puso sa dibdib mo'y buhay Tupang hinilang tuyang ka ng magiting Sa manlulupig di ka pasisihin Sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bughaw May dilagang tula Panawin sa pagkayang kapasisihin Sarap ng watawat, at mo'y tabuyat Ay langit mong bukaw Ang may dilagang na tapat Nawin sa pamay ang magpamahal Tupat at araw na wala Langit mong bukaw Ang buhay ay langit Ang sapi ay magpamahal Aming bigaya na pag may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for tonight from Repertory Philippines, Mr. Arnel Carrion. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 14th International ICT Awards Philippines here in Manila. We would like to thank each and everyone for your support for this continuing annual business award event. This is the event that sets the gold standard in recognizing the companies in the Philippines that are leading examples of excellence in providing information and communications technology services for the Philippines and the world. Now in its 14th year, there is no stopping this business awards event that continues to expand its scope and increase its relevance to support ICT services in the Philippines being seen and recognized as world class. It is indeed a very exciting night. I am sure that everyone is eager to find out as to which companies have been judged and will be recognized in 2020 for excellence in providing ICT services. Are you ready? And now, to welcome you all, allow me to introduce the Chairman of the Organizing Committee for the 2020 International ICT Awards Philippines, Mr. Julian Payne, President and CEO of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the 2020 International ICT Awards Philippines, being broadcast from Manila. This is an historic first for the International ICT Awards Philippines, now starting its 14th year of annual events without ever a break between years. It is the first time it can be seen by anyone around the world who has access to Facebook. It is the first time anybody with access to TV or Facebook can watch it free, without charge. This is an momentous advance in broadening visibility for our finalists and winners, as well as for all of our sponsors. Many have asked me, why the organizers, why the Canadian Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines did not postpone the event until better times. Why we decided to proceed with the event this year. We want to demonstrate that business can be continued during a pandemic and should be continued, should be continued for the benefit of all without delay. And ICT technologies are now readily available to enable business to be continued and should be used now, lastly, an event that showcases ICT excellent should use it and should show that business can exploit excellence. I want to assure you that while the format and the means of delivery of this awards program have been dramatically changed this year, the basic values of this event, the basic benefits of this event, remain the same today as in all previous years. With these opening words, I again welcome you here in the Philippines and around the world to the International ICT Awards Philippines. I look forward with excitement with you to see which companies will be announced as the finalists and the winners as the most outstanding companies in the Philippines providing ICT services to the Philippines and to the wider world. Now, 
let's move on with the show. Thank you, Mr. Payne. We will now show you a video introducing the 2020 International ICT Awards Philippines. First launched by the Canadian Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines in 2006, the International ICT Awards Philippines was established with a mission to recognize the outstanding BPO companies in the Philippines. It has since broadened its scope of awards to embrace information and communications technology industry services more generally. The International ICT Awards is now the leading private sector award event in the Philippines for the ICT services sector. CanCham has continued to this day to organize this annual awards event as support for the ICT services sector. Well, in the 14th year, initially, it was just to start publicizing a new industry. Now, the industry is well developed, well known, and the role of CanCham is basically to organize it and, as we see it, to ensure the integrity of the judging. We actually believe that we're doing a good job, particularly in terms of ensuring the integrity of the judging and ensuring that there is no third party interest trying to influence it. Supported by the two largest telecommunications companies in the country, Globe Business and PLDT Enterprise as the title sponsors. This awards event has inspired ICT companies in the Philippines to provide outstanding services to the world, thus making the Philippines known as one of the top countries offering the best in ICT services. It's very important for us. We're aligned with the organizers of this ICT event in celebrating wins and milestones that the industry has achieved. Well, Business has supported this event for many years now, as we see ICT as a major pillar in making the Philippines a fully digital nation. Within the PLDT group, we have always believed technology to be an equalizer of opportunities. And this is precisely why year after year, we've supported Kancham in their vision to connect trailblazers and pioneers to the ICT awards. While we are keen on Kancham's endeavors to propel the Philippines' emergence as an ICT leader throughout the Asia-Pacific region, our support for these year's awards is inspired by a bigger and more pertinent priority. We at PLET join in their vision to enable citizens through technology and innovation. Over the past 13 years, this prestigious event has been a source of inspiration for nominees and pride for finalists and winners. It has indeed become the most anticipated ICT awards event of the year. The ICT industry was having a huge impact on every area of both industry and business, but also our daily lives. You can see that in telecommunications, in computing, in artificial intelligence, in services. We all do a lot of our banking now remotely on machines and on computers instead of going and waiting in line at banks. ICT was having a huge impact on every aspect of our life before COVID-19. And it was making us by and large more efficient and more effective. Now, along comes COVID-19. Now we have on top of all of that, another huge problem, social distancing. And what ICT has made possible is actually for us to continue to function. We do our banking, we do our online shopping, we do all these things without going out of our condominiums or our houses or our dormitories or this, that, and the other. Uh, things have changed and a lot of things will not change back. And as you see, we now have the International ICT Awards done totally remotely on a virtual basis. I think it's important to network, share best practices, work together on common goals, and recognize excellence. It's evident that the leaders in the current crisis were those that were the most digital, agile, and able to adapt. Let's celebrate their successes and share and learn from each other. By giving these innovators a platform to connect, grow and reach a wider audience, we're enabling them with the means to further fortify their services and bring their vision to life in an all new way. We look forward to seeing how these awards will serve as a stepping stone for even more innovation and collaboration, not just locally, but for the entire global industry. Now on its 14th year, 
This event continues to support the communications and technology service sector in further inspiring companies to excel and contribute to the growth of the economy of the Philippines. I think sometimes people look at award shows as, you know, I have bragging rights, I won this award. The best way to look at it is you're submitting your name as a nomination and you're seeing how you stand up amongst your peers. I see it also as a great assistance to the industry, both in, of course, publicizing how good it is, not just that it exists, but also in helping industry see how an outside board of judges with no conflicts of interest actually looks at each of you and compares you against objective criteria. That, I would think, would be immensely important to any nominee. And I think that that is actually how finalists and nominees and winners should really look at it. Congratulations to all of you. In these challenging times, it's been amazing to see our industry demonstrate its strength, resiliency, and ability to adapt. You are an inspiration to others. And I'm confident you will continue to evolve and become even stronger in the years to come. Mabuhay! On behalf of PLDT Enterprise, I'd like to not only congratulate our nominees and participants, I would also like to extend a warm message of thanksgiving to all of you. Your passion and dedication have set the groundwork for a brighter tomorrow, and that in itself is worthy of recognition. I'm filled with a profound optimism, and I thank you all for inspiring that hope, not just in me, but for society at large. Mabuhay kayong lahat. In 2019, the International ICT Awards event for the first time received official endorsements by DICT, NICP, and PESA. This year, we are pleased and proud to receive these official endorsements from them once again. Let's watch this video. COVID-19 has been the biggest, most formidable global disruption in recent history. The world ground to a halt because of government-imposed lockdowns and community quarantine, adversely affecting key sectors of society, such as education, health, agriculture, transportation, and the overall economy. But most important, the everyday lives and peace of mind of people as well. As the world searches for a cure, Nations continue to implement health protocols and policies to ensure the safety of their citizens. Many countries, including the Philippines, remain under community quarantine to contain the spread of the virus. Months into the battle against COVID-19, the Philippines and the rest of the world cannot remain at a standstill. However, we recognize the problem at hand and must learn to adapt to the landscape that the pandemic has drastically transformed, what we are calling the new normal. Only through smooth transition can we move forward as individuals and as a society. This is where Information and Communications Technology, ICT, plays a crucial role. Since the start of community quarantine last March and until today, ICT has been the lifeblood of Philippine society, providing continuity to the country, to the economy, and to the day-to-day -day activities of Filipinos on the professional and personal levels. Worldwide, it has allowed governments and businesses to carry on with operations and provide services a situation that we expect will continue until this health crisis is completely overcome. Recognizing the importance of ICT during these trying times, the Department of Information and Communications Technology has laid out plans, programs, and initiatives based on a four-point agenda, a combination of short and long-term, sustainable solutions towards digital transformation, 
during and beyond the pandemic. However, the government can only do so much. We need to enable the private sector to achieve sustainable growth and for the digital economy to strengthen its foundations in a primarily market-led ICT ecosystem. The DICT strongly supports the private sector through our programs and projects, especially under the ICT Industry Development Bureau. We acknowledge the companies and individuals who quickly acted to manage this pandemic, those who innovated to provide solutions in these challenging times. I believe this certainly qualifies as transcending excellence. That is, despite the unprecedented trials of COVID-19, we continue to serve not only our regular clients, but also those most urgently in need of our services. With this, the DICT extends its congratulations to the winners of the 2020 International ICT Awards Philippines or the IICTA. You are inspirations and role models for the Philippines and the international business community. Please continue your strides in excellence and may the success you achieve be commensurate to your laudable efforts and to the valuable service you have rendered to society. Congratulations. Of course, the DICT would also like to congratulate the Canadian Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines for bravely pushing forward with this year's IICTA. It is this kind of determination and foresight that will keep us on track and moving forward. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat. Good evening, everyone. It is a pleasure for me to speak at this International ICT Awards Philippines again in 2020, as I did in 2019. Thank you so much for this honor. Who would have imagined last March 2019 what we have been facing since March 2020 with the quarantines and restrictions on growing business to protect our public health? The pandemic is testing every facet of our business environment, our economy, and our society. We may be facing an existential challenge of our century as our forebearers faced in the 20th century with the 1918 flu. In the world of business and international trade, this places a great obligation on leaders in the public and private sectors to ensure our businesses can be proactive and forward-looking to continue and to grow in the new normal. However, be under no illusions. The new normal will not be the same as the old normal in recent years up to March 2020. And let us face the broader international context. There is an old saying that no man is an island. This can be generalized to say no country is an island, even if it is an island to the globalized economy in which we are now surviving. There will always be a need to attract foreign investment and to encourage international trade. The value of foreign investment and international trade is not only for direct economic benefits. The value is also for longer term benefits in advancing our technological competence and in addressing our social needs, such as for education and health. Isolation within the walls of protectionism is not a realistic option for a country that aspires to develop economically and socially for the benefit of its people. But to be successful in a globalized economy, to attract foreign investment, and to export successfully requires above all else that a country be internationally competitive. In an increasingly competitive global economy, 
international competitiveness includes such things as excellence and innovation as well as location. Incentives, low corporate tax rates, and the ease of doing business. Regulatory conditions. We cannot be blind to and ignore what our international competitors offer, including what our ASEAN friends and neighbors are already offering. It is in this context of the need for the Philippines to be internationally competitive that the International ICT Awards and PESA both provide support for ICT services providers in the Philippines to be seen as world-class and to be a world leader for exporting such services. The International ICT Awards Philippines identifies, recognizes, and showcases outstanding ICT services providers. PESA provides locations, support services, incentives, and the ease of doing business conditions that enables the export of services by such outstanding ICT services providers to be internationally competitive. PESA is pleased and proud to endorse to the second consecutive time the International ICT Awards. I thank and salute the organizers, the title sponsors, and all the other sponsors that makes the private sector initiatives possible. I congratulate the nominees, the finalists, the winners of the 2020 International ICT Award Philippines that sustain the reputation of the Philippines as a world-class leader in providing ICT services. Mabuhay! Congratulations! Godspeed! Our sincerest congratulations to Kancham and its partners for its celebration of the 2020 International ICT Awards, even under the present socially distanced circumstances. The National ICT Council Confederation of the Philippines hereby officially endorses for the second time the IICTA. We agree that this sends a very positive signal, one that says lives can go on and businesses can continue while we battle the COVID-19. Even though the business environment is now unlike what it was a few short months ago, the ICT industry continues to provide employment for vast numbers of Filipinos. This fact is of utmost importance, especially outside the biggest city in the countryside where the most number of our members are located and where the industry is often the single biggest employer. In city after city, we saw that the industry was nimble, quickly adapting to new rules and regulation and taking seriously its role as the economic driver sustaining entire local economies. We appreciate that CanCham's vision includes representing its members in all areas of the Philippines. Our own members, whose LGU span the length and breadth of the Philippines, look forward to the fulfillment of this vision as we walk towards transforming each city into an ICT industry location. Congratulations again to Kancham and his partners, and congratulations to the winners of the 2020 International ICT Awards. Thank you for these impressive endorsements and welcome messages. Stay tuned as the awarding proceedings will continue after this break. When you know yourself and love what you do, nothing can stop you. Find your way. I'm finding mine with BDO. <laughs>
It all starts with you, your influence, how you use it, how far you'll take it. You can fuel a culture, a culture of innovation, world-changing solutions, and a digital revolution. One that can save lives and save the world we live in. Because in today's business, the goal is to go beyond, to move, not just to focus on I, but I will. And if you say I will now, then you've already won. You already own tomorrow. A tomorrow where working separately can bring us closer to family. Where the things we waste can turn into things of wonder. Where children have room and reason to grow up. Where every organization has a common goal. To do good. Because we know better. So take on the challenge and ignite change. Use your influence. Lead. Inspire. And create beyond business. Remember, it all starts with you. Our services are delivered at a world-class international standard and our clients can tell and that's why they continue to use us time and time again. Tonight's event would not be possible without the support of our sponsors. And please note, this year's event is supported 100% by private sector sponsors. First of all, a big thank you to our two title sponsors, Globe Business and PLDT Enterprise, that have supported the event ever since it started and continue to do so. Thank you to our category sponsors, BDO, Converge ICT, and Globaltronics. And finally, thank you to all our other sponsors who are now flashed on your screens. I know everyone's excited with the announcement of the finalists and winners, but before we proceed further, please note that a new procedural step was introduced for the first time starting with this year's event. The nomination process now includes an independent verification of eligibility of nominees for each award and completeness of all required information. To implement this step, the organizing committee appointed an independent compliance officer mandated to confirm the eligibility of all nominees and the completeness of all required information to be provided to the panel of judges. Sending his message is the compliance officer, Mr. Monchito Mon Ibrahim, former DICT Undersecretary. This year, the organizers of the International ICT Awards, the Canadian Chamber of the Philippines, instituted a new innovation to further ensure the integrity of the selection of the winners for 2020. This is the engagement of the services of a compliance officer independent of the organizers, the board of judges, and the sponsors, whose job is to vet on the compliance of each of the entries with the set eligibility parameters. I am very honored and pleased to have been retained as the independent compliance officer for the 2020 edition of this prestigious awards. I took care of the not so easy job of checking each entry for each of the categories to see if it meets the minimum requirements of the award category. It was only after the compliance vetting process that the qualified entries were actually turned over to the Board of Judges. Again, thank you Kancham for this opportunity and I wish all the nominees the best of luck. I am confident that the eventual winners will truly be deserving of this recognition. Thank you once again. 
Thank you, Mr. Ibrahim, for your message and completing your important role in assuring the integrity and credibility of the nomination process. In addition to having eligible nominees, the other essential need for a business awards event is to have a panel of judges. Some business awards events, including this one, hold the names of the judges confidential until judging has been completed. It is now my pleasure to welcome again on stage the chairperson of the organizing committee, Mr. Julian Payne, to introduce the members of the 2020 judging panel. It is my honor to announce and introduce the members of the 2020 judging panel for the International ICT Awards Philippines and to thank them for taking on this critically important role that ensures the integrity and credibility of the awards and for the value of the awards for the finalists and the winners. Please note that the judges all volunteered their services pro bono and they all agreed to follow strict published guidelines to avoid any conflict of interest and to base their decisions solely on information all the judges received in the nominee's submissions and only that information. Ladies and gentlemen, the members of the judging panel for the 2020 International ICT Awards were Ms. Cherry May Buza, incumbent second term city councillor in the city of Butuan. She heads the Committee on Health and Science and Technology Development, president of the Caraga ICT Council 2009 to the present. She is an incumbent Board of Trustee of the National ICT Confederation of the Philippines. Dr. Jaime D. L. Caro. Dr. Caro is Professor of Computer Science at the University of Philippines Diliman and heads its Service Science and Software Engineering Laboratory. Dr. Caro is also the Chief Academic Officer of Tech Factors Inc. Attorney Raul Cortez. Attorney Cortez is the founder and principal of Cortez Law, a firm focused on commercial, corporate, and tech law practice. He has been immersed in legal tech field since he joined Cooley Goodwood, a law firm based in Palo Alto, California, at the height of the tech boom. And he has continued to be active in the tech industry as the country legal head for multinational public companies like People Support, Accenture, and most recently, Microsoft. We have Ms. Emmy Lou Delphin. Ms. Delphin is currently the director of the ICT Industry Development Bureau of the Department of Information and Communication Technology. She was recognized and awarded by the National ICT Confederation of the Philippines as a countryside development champion for her dedicated work in implementing initiatives that promote countryside development. Dr. Greg Victor Gabison. Dr. Gabison is the current president of Cebu IT BPM organization and is also dean of the College of Information Computer and Communications Technology of the University of San Jose, a member of the Technical Committee for Information Systems of the Commission of Higher Education, CHED. Mr. Randy Knutson. Mr. Knutson is the founder and CEO of DynaQuest Technology Services, Inc an award-winning blockchain solution provider based in the Philippines. He is a seasoned IT veteran with over 35 years of technology development, ranging from several startups to roles as CIO and CTO with several global companies. Last, and certainly not least, we have Mr. Joe Marie Mercado. Jose Marie Mercado has over 30 years experience in sales, marketing, and consulting in various industries spanning finance, insurance, telecommunications, and in IT and business process management. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the judging panel that we had for the 2020 International ICT Awards Program of the Philippines. Thank you, Mr. Payne. We have a total of nine awards to be announced tonight. Awards are only given when there are a minimum of three nominations received for an award to ensure a competitive adjudication. Please be aware that the finalists and winners have not been informed in advance of tonight's announcements. They will not know they are finalists or winners. As soon as the show has ended, 
Finalists and winners are invited to join the online Zoom awarding and networking meeting. Category sponsors and other dignitaries will congratulate the finalists and the winners of each award and invite them to give their acceptance remarks. This meeting will be open and also be streamed live on Facebook for all to watch. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. Are you ready? Let's start with the first award. To announce the finalists of the best company of the year for ICT services for health is Ms. Lani Kimber Campos, President and General Manager of Evolution Inc. Good evening, everyone. The objective for having the best company of the year for ICT services for health award is to promote excellence and development in providing outsourced services for health information management by recognizing the most outstanding company in the information technology and business process management industry in 2019 in providing such services that is an inspirational role model for the industry, for the Philippine business community, and internationally. To be eligible for this award, the company must earn at least 50% of its gross revenue from providing outsourced services for health information management to offshore clients or in-house company units outside the Philippines during the company's applicable financial year. And the finalist for the best company of the year for ICT services for health award are Cognizant Technology Solutions Philippines Incorporated. Dexcom Philippines Incorporated and WePro Philippines Incorporated. And the winner for the best company of the year for ICT services for health award in 2020 is Cognizant Technology Solutions Philippines Incorporated. Congratulations! And now, our next category is the Best Software Development and Information Technology Company of the Year Award. And to present the finalists is Ms. Rhea Manalili, Senior Vice President for Sales and Marketing, Globaltronics. The objective for having the Best Software Development and Information Technology Company of the Year Award is to promote excellence and development of information technology and software development by recognizing the most outstanding company in the Philippines in the information technology and business process management industry in 2019 in such development that is an inspirational role model for the industry, for the Philippine business community and internationally. To be eligible for this award, the company must earn at least 50% of its gross revenue from providing software design and development services to offshore clients or in-house company units outside the Philippines during the company's applicable financial year. And the finalists of the Best Software Development and Information Technology Company of the Year Award are Infor PSSC Inc. Lexmark Cebu Sintel Infotech Inc. And the winner of the Best Software Development and Information Technology Company of the Year Award in 2020 is Infor PSSC Inc. Congratulations! Thank you, Ms. Manalili, and congratulations to Infor PSSC Incorporated for being named this year's Best Software Development and Information Technology Company of the Year. To present the finalists for the third award, which is the Best 
Contact Center and BPO Company of the Year is Mr. Joseph R. B. Liedo, Senior Vice President and Head of International Desks, BDO Unibank Incorporated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored to present the finalist for the Best Contact Center and BPO Company of the Year Award. The objective of this award is to promote excellence and development in providing voice services in the Information Technology and Business Process Management, or ITBPM, industry in 2019. Providing such services that is an inspirational role model for the industry for the Philippine business community and internationally. To be eligible for this award, the company must earn at least 50% of its gross revenue from providing IT BPM services to offshore clients or in-house company units outside the Philippines during the company's applicable financial year. And here are the finalists. Cognizant Technology Solutions Philippines Inc. Concentrix CVG Philippines Inc. Wipro Philippines Inc. And the winner of the Best Contact Center and BPO Company of the Year in 2020 is Concentrix CVG Philippines Inc. Congratulations! Thank you, Mr. Joseph R. B. Liedo, and congratulations to Concentrix CVG Philippines Incorporated. Our next award is the Best Global In-House Services Company of the Year. Presenting the finalists for this category is Mr. Alan Smythe, Sales Head of Enterprise and Wholesale of Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated. The objective for having the best global in-house services company of the year award is to promote excellence and development in providing global in-house center services by recognizing the most outstanding company in the information technology and business process management industry in 2019, providing in-house services to the company's offices outside the Philippines and or for other offices within the Philippines thus becoming an inspirational role model for the industry, for the Philippine business community, and internationally. To be eligible for this award, the company must have earned at least 50% of its gross revenue from providing ITBPM services to the offshore clients or in-house company units outside of the Philippines during the company's applicable financial year. The finalists for the Best Global In-House Services Company of the Year awards are Lexmark Cebu Northern Operating Services Asia Incorporated White and Case Global Operations Center Manila And the winner for the Best Global In-House Services Company of the Year award in 2020 is Lexmark Cebu, congratulations! Thank you, Mr. Alan Smythe, and congratulations to Lexmark Cebu! We still have five more awards to go, so stay tuned as we pause for a break. When you know yourself and love what you do, nothing can stop you. Find your way. I'm finding mine with BDO. <laughs>
Our services are delivered at a world-class international standard and our clients can tell and that's why they continue to use us time and time again. We now move on to the next award category, the best company of the year outside NCR. And to present the award is Mr. Joseph R.B. Liedo, Senior Vice President and Head of International Desks, BDO Unibank Incorporated. Thank you, Arnel. And good evening, everyone. The objective for having the best company of the year outside NCR award is to promote expanded geographic diversification of ICT business by recognizing the outstanding company in the Philippines in the Information Technology and Business Process Management, or ITBPM, industry in 2019 that is an inspirational role model for the industry, for the Philippine business community, and internationally. To be eligible for this award, the company must have its head office and at least 50% of its full-time regular employees working at offices in the Philippines outside the NCR. The finalists are Awesome OS Lexmark Cebu Wepro Philippines Inc. And the winner of the Best Company of the Year Outside NCR Award in 2020 is Wepro Philippines Inc. Congratulations! Thank you, Mr. Joseph R. B. Liedo, and congratulations to WePro Philippines Incorporated for winning the Best Company of the Year Outside NCR Award. Our next award category is the Most Innovative Company of the Year, and to present the finalists, may I call back on stage Mr. Alan Smythe, Head of Enterprise and Wholesale, Converge ICT. I'm honored to present the Most Innovative Company of the Year Award. The objective of this award is to promote innovation by recognizing the outstanding company in developing, adopting, and implementing advanced solutions, innovations, and new technologies in the information technology and business process management industry. In 2019, that is an inspirational role model for the industry for the Philippine business community and internationally. And the finalists for the Most Innovative Company of the Year Award are Accenture Cognizant Technology Solutions Philippines Infor PSSC And the winner of the Most Innovative Company of the Year Award in 2020 is Infor PSSC. Congratulations! Thank you, Mr. Alan Smythe, and congratulations to Infor PSSC Incorporated for winning the Most Innovative Company of the Year Award. Wow! This has been their second award for this evening. We now move on to the Best Foreign-Owned Company of the Year Award. And to present this award is Mr. Richard McGonigal, Canadian Chamber of Commerce Director and Chairman of the Canadian Chamber ICT Committee. Good evening, everyone. The objective for having the Best Foreign-Owned Company of the Year Award is to promote excellence and development for Philippine-owned companies by recognizing the outstanding foreign-owned company in the ICT industry in 2020 that is an inspirational role model for the Philippine business community and internationally. For the purposes of this category, a company is deemed to be foreign-owned if it is more than 40% foreign-owned. The finalists for the Best Foreign-Owned Company of the Year Award are Concentric CBG Philippines, Inc. Lexmark Cebu 
Wipro Philippines Inc. And the best foreign owned company of the year award in 2020 goes to Concentric CVG Philippines Inc. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Richard McGonigal. And congratulations to Concentrix CVG Philippines Incorporated. Congratulations to all the winners of the seven category awards. We still have two final awards to announce, and I'm sure that you are just as anxious as I am in finding out who they are. So stay tuned as we pause for a break. When you know yourself and love what you do, nothing can stop you. Find your way. I'm finding mine with BDO. Our services are delivered at a world-class international standard and our clients can tell and that's why they continue to use us time and time again. Dear teacher, I fell off my bike the other day and I had to go get some stitches from Dr. Sally. She's nice. My dad said I can be anything I want to be when I grow up. And last time, I chose an architect. But now, I choose to become a doctor. I will study my very hardest to become one someday. I want to be able to help sick kids in need like Dr. Sally did. Because she took care of me, I feel so much better now. So now you get the perfect score in my math exam. I really want to make a teacher for it. Did you hear that there are now dance classes that we can join in school? I'm so excited! Wow! Galing talaga ni Jordan! Ibang klase! I don't! I'm so thankful mom treated me when I need help. I don't know how I would have gone to high school without her. Hmm! This looks good! I want to try this tomorrow and surprise my sister for her birthday. Lord, sana makapasa ako sa mga ng school para makakuha agad ako ng trabaho at makatulong dito sa bahay habang nasakit si Papa. With you right by my side, I know my future will be bright. Thank you, teacher. I'll see you soon. Love, Bella. Good morning, Ms. Hernandez. For this class, I'd like to share with you a story about a young girl. Sa 
Para sa inyo tayo ay sama-sama Habang nilalaan ang buhay mo Iisipin kong ang buhay mo ay buhay ko Asahan mong di ka namin iiwan Kasama mo sa bawat habang Pagka tayo ay iisa lamang Ang buhay mong inaalagaan Ang buhay mong nilalaan Buhay mo ay buhay ko Dahil sa inyo nabubuhay ang pag-asa Para sa inyo tayo ay sama-sama Habang nilalaan ang buhay mo Iisipin ko ang buhay mo ay buhay ko Asahan mong di ka namin iiwan Kasama mo sa bawat hapang Pagka tayo ay iisa lamang Ang buhay mong inaanagaan Ang buhay mong nilalaan Buhay mo ay buhay ko Buhay mo Ay buhay ko We are now down to the last two awards. The announcement of the finalists and winners of the two premier awards. The Best Employer of the Year and the Best Company of the Year. We now welcome Mr. Vic Tria, first Vice President and Sales Head of PLDT Enterprise to present the finalists of the Best Employer of the Year Award 2020. The objective for having the Best Employer of the Year Award is to recognize the outstanding employer in the Philippines in the Information Technology and Business Process Management or IT BPM industry in 2019. That is an inspirational role model for the industry, for the Philippine business community, and internationally. The three finalists for the Best Employer of the Year Award in 2020 are Accenture Inc. Concentric CVG Philippines Inc. Wipro Philippines Inc. And the winner of the Best Employer of the Year Award in 2020 is Concentric CVG Philippines Inc. Congratulations! Thank you, Mr. Victria, and congratulations to Concentrix CVG Philippines Incorporated. Wow, this is the third award won by Concentrix CVG Philippines Incorporated this evening. Stay tuned as the awarding proceedings will continue after this break.
when you know yourself and love what you do. Nothing can stop you. Find your way. I'm finding mine with BDO. <laughs> Our services are delivered at a world-class international standard and our clients can tell and that's why they continue to use us time and time again. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to acknowledge that the video we are about to show you is part of the Saludo SME Para Sa Bagong Bukas campaign of Globe My Business. Let's all watch this. The sun will come out tomorrow, bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none. When I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely I just stick out my chin and grin and say The sun will come out tomorrow So you gotta hang on till tomorrow Come what may Tomorrow, tomorrow I love ya tomorrow You're always a day away Tomorrow, tomorrow I love ya tomorrow You're always a day And now, ladies and gentlemen, to entertain us all tonight, it is our honor to introduce Miss Leia Salonga. Surprise! Hi, it's me, Leia, and I'm glad to be here at the ICT Awards 2020, brought to you by the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for the invitation to come and perform for all of you. Uh, this performance is being brought to you by, obviously, if you can tell from the shirt, Glow Business. Um, I've been told that the feedback on our hashtag Saludo SMEs ad that just came out using the song from Annie tomorrow, um, that the feedback was good. So I'm, I'm very happy. I hope that you all um, found yourself inspired and touched by the ad um, to everybody that was a part of it, to everyone behind it. Uh, thank you very much. And yes, we observed all safety protocols while I was shooting it here at home. Okay, so I've picked a couple of songs out. Hopefully they will bring you some inspiration and help you to look forward to the future safely and um, with positive vibes. I'd like to repurpose the word, I'd like to reclaim rather the word positive to mean something good, um, something bright and optimistic. And I'm just an eternal optimist and I will always try to look for silver linings in things. So um, I know that you just heard this song, um, but I thought to, to sing it um, first. Uh, first of all, it's the easier song to sing. And secondly, um, it's, it's a song that always gets me happy and pumped up and looking forward. So I hope that you enjoy this one. This is tomorrow from Annie, but this is a different arrangement. This one's by Gerard Salonga, and I hope that you all like it.
I just stick out my chin and grin and say the sun will come out tomorrow. So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. And now, the next one is one of my favorites to do, although it stresses me out a little bit uh, because this song is hard. However, the first time I heard it, I just it, it's it almost felt like some someone just grabbed my soul, my spirit, and gave it a kick over the wall. I just felt like I was seized by something amazing. First of all, it was the performance of Adina Menzel that I saw the first time that I ever heard this song. And it was just, it was, it was, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't. And I still get emotional remembering that particular performance. And so over the past, I don't know how many years I've had um, the good fortune of being able to sing this song. Um, and even though I've, I've done it and it's in my body, it's, it's still, it, it still gives me stress, but only the good kind because it, it makes me feel energized and happy and my, my spirit just feels like it's floating and, and not just floating, but more of yanked up into the sky. Um, so with this, I hope that um, it makes you feel similarly when you hear it, regardless of which version you, you get to listen to. Um, but here is mine, uh, also arranged, I believe, by Gerard Salonga, or it could be somebody else. But he definitely provided, uh, thanks Gerard, he definitely provided me with this uh, backing track. And it's one that he has put together so sweetly for this event. So here is, ha ha! Defying Gravity, and um, I hope that you all enjoy it, and thank you again for having me. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same I'm through with playing by the rules Of someone else's game Too late for second guessing Too late to go back to sleep It's time to trust my instincts Close my eyes And leave it's time to try to find gravity. I think I'll try to find gravity, and you can't pull me down. I'm through accepting limits, cause someone says they're so. Some things I cannot change, but till I try, I'll never know. Too long I've been afraid of losing love, I guess I've lost. Well, if that's love, it comes at much too high a cost. I'd sooner die defying gravity. Kiss me goodbye, I'm defying gravity. 
and you can't pull me down. Limited, my future is unlimited, and I just had a vision almost like a prophecy. I know it sounds truly crazy, true, the vision's hazy. But I swear someday I'll be up in the sky, defying gravity, flying so high, defying gravity, and you can't hold me down. So if you can't fly. Someone told me lately, everyone deserves the chance to fly. And if I'm flying solo, at least I'm flying free. To those who ground me, take a message back from me. Tell them how I am defying gravity. I'm flying high, defying gravity. And soon I'll match them in renown. And nobody in all of Oz, no wizard that there is or was, he's ever gonna bring me down. Good night. Bye. And now, for the Best Company of the Year Award, we welcome Mr. Peter Maquera, Senior Vice President for Enterprise Group of Globe Telecom, to present the finalists. The objective for having the Best Company of the Year Award is to recognize the outstanding company in the Philippines in the information, technology, and business process management industry in 2019 that's an inspirational role model for the industry, for the Philippine business community, and internationally. The three finalists for the best company of the year are Cognizant Technology Solutions Philippines Inc. Concentric CVG Philippines Inc. Wipro Philippines Inc. And the winner of the best company of the year in 2020 is Concentrix CVG Philippines Inc. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Peter Makera, and congratulations to Concentric CVG Philippines Incorporated for winning the Best Company of the Year Award. I now invite again on stage the Chairman of the Organizing Committee, Mr. Julian Payne, for his closing remarks on the 2020 International ICT Awards Philippines. Well, what exciting announcements of the finalists and winners for the nine categories of awards at the 2020 International ICT Awards Philippines that is being broadcast across the Philippines and to the world. My congratulations to all the finalists and winners of awards. Well done by your companies for yourselves and well done by you for the Philippines. And my appreciation and thank you also to all the companies who submitted nominations for the awards in 2020. While it's obvious every company cannot be a finalist and every company cannot be a winner, without all of you submitting nominations, there could be no International ICT Awards Philippines. I would also like to express particular and great appreciation 
of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines as the organizer of this event, to members of the judging panel, and to our sponsors, from the title sponsors Globe Business and PLDP Enterprise, and the dozens of other sponsors, large and small, that provide the financial resources to make this event possible. However, the International ICT Awards Philippines is not yet over. Only the announcement of the finalists and winners has been completed. The next and final step is the awarding and networking webinar segment. At this webinar, all the finalists and winners will receive their awards interactively online from the title and the category sponsors. Each of them will be congratulated and all the winners will be invited to give their acceptance remarks. This will start at 9.15 p.m. and we look forward to your participation. Please join us as we continue this exciting event to its finale. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Payne. Ladies and gentlemen, this ends the 14th International ICT Awards Philippines 2020. Again, my congratulations to all the finalists and winners, and also to CanCham. I am excited for next year as we celebrate a milestone, the 15th International ICT Awards 2021. This has been your host, Arnel Carrion. Good evening and stay safe. When you know yourself and love what you do, nothing can stop you. Find your way. I'm finding mine with BDO. <laughs>
create beyond business. Remember, it all starts with you. Our services are delivered at a world-class international standard and our clients can tell and that's why they continue to use us time and time again. Dear teacher, I fell off my bike the other day and I had to go get some stitches from Dr. Sally. She's nice. My dad said I can be anything I want to be when I grow up. And last time, I chose an architect. But now, I choose to become a doctor. I will study my very hardest to become one someday. I want to be able to help sick kids in need like Dr. Sally did. Because she took care of me, I feel so much better now. So now you get the perfect score in my math exam. I really want to make my teacher better. Did you hear that there are now dance classes that we can join in school? I'm so excited! Wow! Galing talaga ni Jordan! Ibang klase! I don't! I'm so thankful mom treated me when I need help. I don't know how I would have gone to high school without her. Hmm! This looks good! try this tomorrow and surprise my sister for her birthday. Lord, sana makapasa ako sa mga ng school para makakuha agad ako ng trabaho at makatulong dito sa bahay habang nasakit si Papa. With you right by my side, I know my future will be bright. Teacher, I'll see you soon. Love, Bella. Hello, class. Good morning, Miss Hernandez. For this class, I'd like to share with you a story about a young girl. Who...